Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As black women, we all know the struggle of this, our hair. Whether it's an itchy scalp, severe dandruff, or just flat out hair loss, our hair is one of our biggest obstacles. But fear not, here to help provide some DIY tips and tricks for maintaining and establishing a healthy lifestyle and hairstyle is hair loss practitioner and nutritionist Debbie Williams, welcome Hi, down to you. the circle. I'm excited. All right, so before we jump into this DIY, talk to us about how you became this advocate of all about hair. Okay, I've been in this industry now for about 30 years. Ooh. I actually started out as a hairstylist about 20 some odd years ago. And how I became to be a hair loss specialist was my sister um, had lupus mm -hmm. and I was trying to find a cure for her for lupus. Wow. And even too, when I had a salon, because I had a salon, people were coming in for hair loss problems and I was sending them to a dermatologist and they weren't getting the right answers. Wow. So I started going deeper, I started studying trichology, mm -hmm. I went in and became a nutritionist because then I learned that our hair loss problem is usually because of an internal issue, yes. deficiencies yes. of minerals. Yes, well in my family we suffer from autoimmune issues as well. Mm -hmm. My older sister has lupus and I would like to know the connection between hair and scalp health and our nutritional health. There is a big connection, a really big connection and this is why I try to bring a lot of awareness Many of us, when we're experiencing hair loss, hair loss is usually just a symptom, or I'll call it our check engine light. Mm -hmm. It's just your body's way of trying to tell you that something is going on in here, a deficiency of copper, a deficiency mm -hmm. of zinc, a deficiency of magnesium. And every, everything in our body, minerals is our lifeline. Mm -hmm. And so when we're experiencing hair loss or scalp mm -hmm. problems, that's just your body trying to tell you, hello, I need some copper, I need some zinc, I might need some magnesium, maybe I need some potassium. But that's, what's, that's the whole purpose of why you're, why you're losing your hair. Okay, so what would our hair say to our bodies? Okay, and that's funny because I, I got a book, <laughs> and that's actually one of the titles that I'm thinking about with my book. So, for instance, when you get an itchy scalp, mm -hmm. you're getting that itchy, cal itchy scalp because your body is saying to you, hello, um, I need some zinc, mm. um, hello, I need some potassium. Just like when you get a headache, your headache, your body is trying to tell you that you're low in magnesium. Mm -hmm. Your body is also trying to tell you that you need some potassium. So every pain that we get, every discomfort that we get, it's because our body is talking to us. It's trying mm. to tell us you need some you know, copper. Copper is one that is really big for us women because copper actually has a lot to do with our reproductive system. Okay. So when we're dealing with fibroids and menstrual cramps, that's your body telling you, I need some copper. Ooh, but I don't need no baby, so no copper for me. <laughs> um, so let's start, let's start here. So you have a bowl of rice with water. Tell mm -hmm. us about why you have a bowl of water and rice. Okay, so years ago, a couple of years ago, I did a video. I wanted to share with people because I'm a nutritionist and I'm a hair loss specialist. And hair loss, when, when someone is affected by a hair loss, it does something to their self-esteem, their confidence yes. level. So I wanted to let people know that there is a way that you can actually grow and maintain your hair without having to buy lotion, potions, and pills. Because oh. a lot of times, topical products is not going to resolve your hair loss if you're dealing with internal issues. So I went out there and I, I, I actually did research. And what, what happened here with rice water, it actually is something that the, the Yao women in China, they mm. do. And so what it is, is when you're fermenting rice with water, it actually ferments out minerals. So again, every Everything goes back to minerals. It's fermenting out selenium, it's fermenting out magnesium, um, it's fermenting out the B-complex vitamins, which is biotin and niacin. Mm -hmm. So I did this to let people know when you put this mixture together, it <laughs> ferments for about 24 hours, mm -hmm. and you actually apply this to your hair, your hair will grow. Okay. Now, there are <laughs> hundreds of videos that's, that are telling you this. How do we use the technique? Do we take the rice and scrub our hair with it? Do we just use the water? How do we use it? So what happens is you need to take long grain rice, mm -hmm. okay? Not minute rice, not none of that fast rice. And you wanna take distilled water because distilled water has no minerals in it. Mm. And so you're gonna take like a cup of distilled water and a cup of rice. You're gonna put them together like I have here. You want it to ferment for 24, 24 hours. hours. After the 24 hours, the minerals are going to be fermented out of the rice. The magnesium, the selenium, the biotin, the niacin, the folic acid. Many people know folic acid because it's in our prenatal vitamins. Mm -hmm. So what you're actually doing is you're creating your own hair vitamin, but in a liquid form. Okay, I have to ask one question before we move on to the aloe. Do you rinse the rice off first? You know when you cook rice, you have to kind of rinse it off to get all that? Well. 
stuff off of it? I'm gonna say no, because when you're rinsing it, you're rinsing out some of the nutrients in okay. it. And you're not boiling it, you don't wanna boil it. Okay. And when you ferment this, once you, you're gonna shampoo your hair, mm -hmm. you're gonna and always shampoo with a sulfate-free shampoo, okay. then you're gonna condition your hair. After you condition, you're gonna rinse your conditioner out. After the 24 hours of this fermenting, you're gonna spray it on the hair. Okay. You're gonna leave it on your hair for about a half an hour to an hour. Put a cap on, sit under the dryer. Then you're gonna rinse this out. When you rinse this out, mm. your hair, the first sign is that hair is gonna feel like butter. Yes, but well, <laughs> speaking of butter, let's get to this aloe. Okay. We hear that it's good for the skin, but tell us about the benefits regarding hair. Well, aloe has a lot of healing properties mm -hmm. and it has about 75 different <laughs> active ingredients in it. It's amazing for the hair and scalp, mm. one, because it hydrates. It gives yes. us the hydration. Aloe also contains many, many minerals. Aloe also contains copper and zinc. Again, one of the two minerals that is behind when we are when we're low in copper and zinc, we have we will experience hair loss. So with you using an aloe type of product, you're helping you're giving your hair the hydration, you're helping you stopping hair loss, you're helping your hair to grow. It's it's just so many things that it can do for the hair. Well what about the dandruff and the itchy scalp? Okay, so when we have, like I said, when we have an uh, itchy scalp, that's your body trying to tell you that it is low in zinc, it could be low in uh, copper, and also an itchy scalp could also be that the body has too much B12. So I formulated a shampoo that it's a DIY where you can do it at home, mm -hmm. and the ingredients is Castile soap, and why Castile? Because it's very natural and it's pure, and here is coconut milk. Ooh, from the can, that's yeah, a good one. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. coconut milk, then we have purified water, purified and water. the secret sauce is fenugreek. Now, I use the fenugreek powder, but you can Smells actually get too. the fenugreek seed. And why I chose fenugreek is because it, um, it cures for dandruff, it cures for inflammation in the scalp, um, for an oily scalp, all of that. So we have fenugreek, then we also have um, coconut oil, we have apple cider vinegar, and then we have rosemary. Okay, and you so just mix them all together, you put it put all them in together, a and in a bottle. And then you have a shampoo. Fantastic. So tell us about your, your line really quickly. I have a line, it's Pure 7. I started it years ago, it's a, a nutrient based product. Nice. And basically, I really had started it years ago for women who had, were, was wearing sew-ins mm -hmm. because I was noticing when they were coming out of those weaves, Ooh. they were not, the, the scalp was yes. inflamed. Oh, so it was nutrient based and it's a phenomenal product. It has uh, so many different essential oils in it. I have a hair treatment line. I'm just developing lots of shampoos and different things for everyone. Fantastic. Debbie, thank you so much for these amazing tips and for more of these DIY tips on Debbie's services, go to her YouTube channel at Ask Debbie About Hair.